Good afternoon, everyone. Salam, Jumbo. Everybody seems quiet, a graveyard session after lunch. Okay, good afternoon. Like they said, my name is Mohammed Ali. I'm the Chief Fiber Core Officer for Beobab Group. And I'm here to talk to you about infrastructure. Um, I will limit infrastructure discussion to just fiber. And I think it will be good to listen to the most undeveloped part of the world as far as fiber infrastructure is concerned and see the progresses that we've done in the last um, five years. So, fiber, um, it's actually the technology that moves um, huge traffic around the world um, with very less minimal losses as well as long distances. Um, it was experimented in the 19th century with light transmission. It was further developed in the late 70s with the fiber optics. And then we started seeing the proliferation of fiber optics um, across the world. We've got about 1,000, 1.4 million kilometers of subsea fiber that does all this transmission. And um, a huge majority of them are mostly um, in the other parts of the world apart from Africa. In Africa, we started seeing fiber coming in in the late uh, 90s with uh, the cables like um, SAT3, which had very limited capacity. But we've seen tremendous development over the years where we've seen fiber actually coming into the, the, the African continent now to, to be able to bridge the digital gap um, of, of, um, of the continent. So I said I was from Beobab. When I came in um, yesterday and I introduced myself, somebody asked me who's Beobab. Last year we were here as Global Connect. Thank you, Tony, for giving us the platform and being pa our partner in progress. Beobab used to be MTN Global Connect. We rebranded this year in, 20, uh, in May 2023 to be precise, just to emphasize our open accessness and being neutral from our parent company, which is MTN. MTN's core belief is to give everybody the benefit of a modern connected life. And I think there's nowhere that that ambition, it's key than the continent of Africa that has, uh, that is predicted to have 2 billion people by the year 2050 uh, according to IMF and, 20, and over 75 of that population will actually be below the age of 25. So it's a fast growing continent, a very youthful continent and the digital divide is what needs to be bridged so that everybody will have the inclusion um, of a modern connected life in the terms of the way they work, play, and actually um, bring in value. And it's been proven that with every new connectivity, with every new technology, it improves the GDP and it improves the, the, the life of the people. So Beobab, um, being a part of MTN today, has about uh, investments on 16 subsea cables on the west and the east coast of Africa. I don't think there's any African company that's got this volume of, of, of connectivity around it. Uh, and most importantly, not just around uh, the continent on the subsea, but terrestrially. I mean, Africa is a very vast continent. Um, it's, you can put in the US, Europe, and Russia, and China as big as they are, and they'll still be contained in the African continent. And there's that connectivity gap. According to, to GSMA, um, the, 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 the connectivity percentage is about 36%, very far below the world average. So for, for it to be bridged, there's great need for infrastructure to bridge that up. So apart from the subsea, what is mostly important is actually the terrestrial. Uh, today, MTN owns uh, Biobab, on behalf of MTN, owns about 112,000 kilometers of terrestrial fiber. So we're actually rolling out the fiber railways of Africa to be able to give um, those connectivities. We've got um, quite a lot of um, uh, footprints that we've done because as Beobab Group, what we're, what we're doing now is to ensure that we meet up all regulations and, and make sure that we meet all the new local nuances. Africa is 54 odd countries. All of them have different legislature, different regulations, and for us to be compliant, uh, uh, in, in every term of it, we needed to have licensing in all those countries, as well as uh, comply with all the, 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 requ the, the, the requirements within those countries. So we've got operations today in Kenya, Zambia, um, Nigeria. 
We've got operations in um, central, I mean, in, in um, CIV, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and South Africa. Those are traditional countries where our parent company had traditionally operated. But we've also got a huge ambition of building an east to west fiber connecting the east coast of Africa and the west coast of Africa with diversities so that we can bridge latency and make sure that we collect the east to the west. Uh, in doing that, we've, uh, we have to I mean, transfer us into countries where we've traditionally not had operations. Uh, it might interest you to know that a country like uh, Central Africa Republic, where we've gotten a license, um, we took over through a PPA, we took over 1,040 kilometers of fiber. And for the first time, we're connecting a country like that with the digital arteries of the world. And I think quite a lot of people have seen us being rooted in the African continent and all the values we bring. We're attracting quite the kind of partnership that we require to scale up. Um, we signed up with Africa 50 a day after we rebranded of $320 million to enable us fulfill that our ambitions and that our, our bridge. Now, having said that, Baobab, it's not just doing fiber. Um, we've also got the Baobab platforms where we do all the voice interconnect, all the roaming, the GRX, um, the IPX, on behalf of all the operating companies. Um, we've built up a world-class um, platform there, and we're not just making it available for our own operations, we're making it available for every other African player that would require that, just like we're doing on the fiber side. And on the fiber side of the business, the subsea, the terrestrial, the new projects we're doing, the new countries we're going into, are all part of what we're doing to make sure that we actually bridge that uh, digital gap. So like I said, we're rooted in, 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 a, in partnerships, we believe in partnerships, there is a very famous African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. And for us, we believe in partnership. I, I always um, use this words to say, in the wholesale space, your partner is your competitor as well as your supplier. And for us, we believe in strong partnerships and we look for partnerships with everybody with the like minds like us to be able to bridge that digital uh, gap. And we're looking not just into, uh, in terms of infrastructure, not just into the fiber space, but also the data center, which forms a fundamental part of the fiber where it comes to. So I, I, I think I will leave you with, with those, my little um, uh, words in terms of uh, what we've done, where we're coming from, where we are today, and what we've done so far so good. I know there's a panel that's gonna talk about infrastructure, so I leave the rest of the questions for them but thank you very much for, for the platform and well done.